tough competition. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even really notice. <laughs> he probably doesn't notice either. You know, the thing we notice is, you know, coming up short. Um, so I guess I'll reflect on that once the season's over. But right now you're just embroiled in weekly preparation. I don't look at that stuff. Mm -hmm. Just go from week to week and there it is. What do you tell a guy when, when he does have such a good game, especially in that second half and you have the critical mistake at the end? How do you pick him up after that? I don't know. I've already forgot about it. How tough is Adrian? I mean, just to have to mentally go through a lot of the stuff he goes through and, and get back up and do it the next week. Oh, yeah, he's, he's been a tough cat since he's been here, you know. So um, that, that part of his profile, as you guys know, I'm talking to him pretty intact. Yeah, so um, he's a battler, he's a warrior, gets up. Let's keep going, man. Is there anything, is there anything different about the, the way the position is played when the clock's operating against you? Like when you're in a late half, late game situation, like what changes about the challenge? Well, you know, there's certain things just that, that are unacceptable. <laughs> He saw, one, he saw one of them <laughs> Saturday, but uh, not taking sacks, those sorts of things. And those are reminders that we go over on the sidelines before he takes the field. So just some of those sorts of things, you know, can't take a sack, uh, get the ball out of bounds and all those sorts of things. So it's a little bit different profile for you when you're in a two-minute situation. Is that is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, how, is it difficult from a, from a mental perspective to play fast, know you're up against the clock, yeah. and then also not rush. Exactly. Be quick, but don't hurry, right? Yeah. What was it? A couple weeks ago when uh, uh, Brett Favre was playing the, the Niners, but they had 32 seconds. <laughs> it was just like, it was like three passes, field goal, and they end up winning the game. But that's from years of experience and so on and so forth and being around the same kind of guys that he's always had. But, um, yeah, you know, there, there's obviously a, a little bit of – added pressure in terms of that with regards to the normal time of, of a game, certainly. Like yeah. this, the Just try not to let it bother you, you know, and that's why we do it every day. Like the third to last play of the, of the, of the you guys' drive. When we, when we see that, we think, well, he overthrew Levi. Is that what you see when you're watching it, or is there, was there something mechanically there where he actually went through his process too fast and throwing that crossing route and it, it ended up being high? Does that make uh, sense? Yeah. When you watch that, yeah. what do you see versus what we see? Well, there was obviously they're they're pressuring him, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so he was trying to get that thing thrown hot, and um, it probably caught him a little bit by surprise because I think he, in his brain he thought he was protected, and so I think it, that flashed in his brain. Now, it, it's hard for me, and you know I got to try to get up in myself in a position where I can kind of see what's right. Going. I can see what's going on. You used so, to have that advantage before. Yeah, so, you always do Yeah, it. so I got the challenge just because I'm a hobbit, so I, it's hard for me to see. So I got to try to get as far away as I possibly can, and sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't. Where do you station yourself on that last drive then? Are you all the way down, like on the yeah. other side by the 20, the opposite yeah, 20? On the opposite 20, yep. And they're going out, and then it just flips around for me. Yeah. Are you liking it down there? Uh. Yeah, it's been. I think it's. I think it's been really. We, you guys asked me this the last time, and it's. I think it's been beneficial for, for Adrian, you know, because it's more hands-on for me. I can give him reminders all the way through and what, so on and so forth. And the challenge was, am I going to be able to, give him some insight as to what's happening in the next series? Well, that's we kind of ironed that out. So that's why I stay by him if I hear, uh, Coach Frost and Coach Lubick talking. And they're talking about the next series coming up. Then I'm relaying that information to Adrian. In so I, I think it's, I, okay. overall it's been, it's been good. In our first question, you said your brain's already on to the next game. You move on to the next yeah. chapter. It is, yeah. How does Adrian do with that? I mean, he obviously that, just, yeah. that, that was a hard loss. To take, yeah. How does he come back? Monday yeah. Sunday, they're all hard. Uh, well, the guys know since I've been here, you know, you get 24 hours, man. You, you get 24 hours, and, and that's it. And then we're on to the next one. And I, I usually, on Sundays, give him a call and or text him, and we, we have a conversation. Just, just want to know how he's doing. And usually, uh, 
I'm more on a suicide watch than he is. Um, but then when Monday comes, man, it's great when I'm around the guys again, you know, and I kind of get myself bounced back. But, yeah, hey, Frost, he's been good with that. Frost mentioned to us that the AD came around all you guys, uh, Trev Alberts, and talked to you. I appreciate that. Or? That's always appreciated and special, you know, when you come off a, a tough loss like that, man. Wow. You know, and we've been battling for, you know, just trying to get this thing cranked up. Now we're close, but, God, it just – Yeah. Just heartbreaking sometimes. Was that the hardest one? Or was uh, was Michigan State? Because that was almost out of your guys' control. Uh, I don't know. You know, like, God, they're all – I suffer a loss. I don't, it just, sometimes it doesn't matter who it's against. It's just because you work so hard, you know, yeah. during the week. And you put you put your heart and soul to, to every game when you come up short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just hard. Yeah. Ross said that that was the most fun he had. Maybe coaching in a game up until, I mean, obviously, yeah. the last couple of minutes. I mean, yeah. do you, is that just fun to go through your brain in a game like that? Like, is it, was the second half God, or not? I don't know. I must be a weird cat, man, because I don't, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't even think about those sorts of things until the game is over, you know? Yeah. Right? I'm uh, up until the end of the game, you know, um, I guess I, walk what I preach, I tell Adrian and the guys don't, there's, there's no time to celebrate and no time to get pissed off and so on and so forth and angry until the game's over. So I guess I'm a little bit emotionless in to first, some degree. In the first two seasons that with Adrian there was times when you know he missed a, a game in two games due to injury obviously he's played full way, took the big shot against Michigan State. Are yeah. you he hasn't taken off the scramble quite as much the last couple of weeks. Is that Game flow is that by design? Are you trying to keep him? No, taking no, shots? no. You don't want to take guys' stinger away, you know. Just let him play the game as he sees fit to play it, right? Um, so we haven't dampened that part of his game at all, you know. Just got to let him play. Has he, gotten, has he gotten better at avoiding taking big hits in the in the, in the course of play? Yeah, you know, he, he, he is taking a slide couple times which was pretty good to see yeah yeah and I think he's getting better at just knowing when hey, it's over I'm, I'm okay I'm gonna give myself up like a wildebeest okay I got the <laughs> ball it's done okay let me just go down right so hey Mario um, yeah you've been able to get Masker and some other yeah I'm yeah. curious was, yeah. was Harburg at all like on deck against Northwestern or any of these games you've been trying to work him into or is it hard to get a fourth guy in? Period. Well, he, you know, he gets his he gets his reps at practice, and just it just uh, ended the way it ended with regards to um, the game against Northwestern with Maddie getting some reps. But um, no, it, it it's been fun coaching those those young guys. You know, it's with that awesome. four game rule though, is it kind of a, a tough rope to walk? Or like you'd love yeah. to get some of these guys sure. in, but Masker's been here four years, and you sure. want to get him in. And sure. I mean, how do how do you yeah. manage that? Uh, well, Coach Frost is pretty mindful of that. So we'll talk about that before game and whatever and see what might be unfolding, let's say, for example. And we'll have an idea who's going to play and who's going to step up and who's not. How's, how's Harburg doing? Good, man. He's a character. He's got a gun now. He's yeah. athletic. He's, he's doing really well. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit of adjustment for him, um, like all high school quarterbacks, but m more particularly for him. Um, but he's adjusted really well. He really, he really has the last couple of weeks. He's been doing really well. Is that when you say he's got a gun? I mean, how how far can he throw the ball? Oh, I don't know about far. I don't know that I've tested that piece of the puzzle. But he yeah. can he can rip it pretty good now. Are there routes that he's able to to make that you know not every quarterback can? Yeah, what I, are those I, routes? Yeah, I think that'll probably be coming up as more as he's in our offense. Yeah, but guys with guns like him. Well, you guys watch Patrick Mahomes play. I mean, he can, he can make throws just like Aaron can that not a lot of guys can make, you know. Do you tell him, though, like, your time will come? Like, don't, you know, we, we want to get you in the game, but don't be frustrated by it. Your time's going to come. Do you have to kind of tell a young kid that sometimes? Or On the plains of hesitation lie the white bleached bones of the millions who thought to wait, and in waiting they died. So I tell him, don't wait, man. Get going. Don't, don't wait till next spring. Don't wait till you're a junior. Get going now. 
and he appreciates that. And I'm, I'm, I guess I'm hard on him a little bit, you know. But uh, to get the mental part, at least with regards to the playbook, lined up with the strength of his arm and his athleticism, yeah. So um, I think he's taking that to heart. Hey, Mario, how do you um, look for ways to be innovative in incorporating work for Adrian in the two-minute offense or even like the one-minute offense when you get in a spot with no timeouts? Is that more film meeting or is it more on the practice field? Well, it, it's, it's a combination of the two, right? Just having that experience uh, during practice when we go clutch, um, rehearsing those situations live, right? And then correcting those mistakes that he might make or any quarterback might make in that period, right? And then combining that with uh, what you've gained from film analysis about what their sort of approach is to the two-minute drill. And is there a difference between how they handle two minutes before the half's over? And is there a difference between how they handle it in the game? And then piecing all of that together and uh, have an understanding of the, of the, of the patterns that, that Coach Lubes and, and Frosty want to uh, execute and see how that template matches up with, with their defensive approach. Have you seen a difference in the execution when you guys go two minute and it's not the end of a half or the end of a game versus when it is? Uh, yeah, um, from a defensive standpoint, it depends on their approach, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the more mature a, a, a team that you have on the offensive side of the ball, mm -hmm. across the board, offensive line, running backs, so on and so forth, uh, my experience has been typically the smoother that your two-minute drill will, will operate for obvious reasons. Yeah. So, yeah. On the <laughs> yeah, there were there were coaches from their sideline blitzing as well. I think. <laughs> so that's a long. I mean, you're, you're throwing outside down yeah. the field under yeah. pressure. Like yeah. ideally, that's a yeah. long throw. Ideally, yeah. is you putting that ball outside. Well, we were hoping because that's a play that we rehearse all the time yeah. in that sort of situation. We thought we might get a rub on the perimeter, and if we do, it's probably a yeah. touchdown. So it didn't happen that way. So okay. play, play wise, that was what Yeah, Jesus. yeah, that's that's where we'd like it to go if we, if we possibly can, certainly. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks,